Hi everyone, it's Rob Clifton from Avid Mobile. Just want to let you guys know we pushed a few changes live today. If you have any problems with anything rendering correctly, uh, a good rule of thumb is to hit Control F5 and it'll refresh your screen, especially when you push new updates live. Sometimes the files on your computer uh, are cached or whatever. And a Control F5 will refresh the screen and pull in the new files and then your menus and everything will show up correctly. For instance, the first time I loaded the new page with the new list of items page, which this is the new standard list page, that these icons didn't appear here. But when I hit Control F5, they did. So that's a good rule of thumb to always try that. If you're having a problem with the page loading or rendering correctly, you can always try that. And maybe you've got some cache files or whatever the case may be. Our new standardized list card has new features. Of course, you can drag across them. When you hit edit on a particular site, then it will, um, apparently timed out, then it will load your editor and, uh, you know, then obviously you can jump right in here. That's my daughter. Um, you, uh, so hitting the edit button will edit any pages. This will clone it. So I can hit clone and then it'll do the same thing that it's done in the past ask me uh, to name the site and clone it into whatever account that I want to clone it into and if I hit delete the trash button it'll say are you sure and hit confirm and there's one more icon that doesn't appear here on this screen which is uh, if you've got a site that's only a two page site then it'll have a little uh, square with an arrow going up that's to upgrade it to another one so if you you know drag across it it'll say upgrade and you click on it it'll say are you sure you want to upgrade this site and then you can upgrade it and then it's a paid full-blown site unlimited pages or whatever the case may be again this is a new list card that will appear in everything so if you go to your uh, kiosk for instance um, again your this is the same type of list card with uh, the links and the you know edit delete clone all of that would be available in other lists um, we also have turned live for everybody that is a tier 2 or a tier 3 the ability to create hosted sign up pages. There's a whole webinar that I did um, about two weeks ago on hosted sign up pages. Hosted sign up pages are really awesome. For those that didn't get to see that webinar, um, you can go in, you can create a new plan. When you create that plan, you put in a whole profile of it, which you name the plan. Like if this is your silver plan, you just name it and then you pick. Is it a client or a reseller? You put in your terms of service URL. If you want them to be able to uh, acknowledge email or mobile marketing, they can do that. When somebody signs up for this page, when you create this, and somebody signs up for it, they get this welcome email from you. And you can be blind carbon copied on it, so you put your email address on here. Then if somebody enrolls in the program with all the permissions and everything, here I'll show you another full one here. So I'm going to hit edit on one of these other ones so you can see one that's already done. I created this for a particular client, Isaacs. It's a client account. I put in our terms and conditions URL. I turned on email marketing. Here's the, um, uh, the email that's got the, it's going to, when they sign up for the, on the page and put in their credit card information, it will send them the login link and the username and password for the account because it automatically creates their account. When I created it, I went in and put in all their permissions that I wanted. I didn't want them to have API documentation. I didn't want them to have hosted sign-up pages. Um, I don't want them to have the GUI editor. Um, they can put in, I, I select which shortcode I want them to have. And if they would, you know, had Canada 2, I'd put in a Canada one. I put in whatever options I want them to have. For instance, if I didn't want them to have text to screen, I could just turn off text to screen and then that wouldn't be an option. I put in the quota I want them to have. If I want them to have a collateral creator, I can turn it on, or black is turn it off. I didn't want them to have real estate. I didn't want them to have V card, so I turned all that off. And then I hit save. When I hit save, it updates it, and then I can put in their sign-up plan pricing. Here I put in whatever setup fee it is, whatever monthly fee it is, how many included um, uh, mobile sites they get, how many included keywords, how many included outbound messages, uh, their cost for additional messages, all of that uh, all, all of that kind of stuff and then so once I've put in that information in here and hit save then what it does is it goes ahead and creates a URL once somebody clicks that URL so then you grab that URL you can link to a payment button on your website so you could put a buy now button on your website and then 
it links to this page that has your logo at the top it has whatever you, information you put in there and when the person puts in all their information and their credit card information and accepts all the stuff and hit sign up it runs their credit card the credit it goes right into your account the money goes right into your account and you um, and they get an email with a, their username and password and it automatically creates their client account inside your application so it's really cool you can create buttons on your website link to these URLs you know sign up buttons you can uh, create custom agreements for somebody and then just send the link right to their phone and they can sign up right from their phone or email them the link to the sign up page and they can sign up right from their uh, computer screen and then it automatically generates their account so you don't have to create the account but there is a requirement for this that you have uh, tier 2 or tier 3 and that you have set up your um, integrated billing in the system. If you don't have integrated billing set up in the system you obviously can't accept a credit card inside the system. So that's the requirement. Uh, good luck everybody. If you have any questions email support at evanmobile.com and we look forward to... oh I, and one more thing on the list cards I don't think I... I, I think I forgot to mention but on all the list cards now there is a search feature at the top so if you've got like me you've got you know I probably got 50 mobile websites for instance inside my account I could go to the top here and just search I could go to the top here and just search for what I'm looking for hit search and then it would pull up uh, the site that I'm looking to edit or delete or whatever the case may be thanks everybody I look forward to talking to you soon bye bye